it's what's interesting though is that so I literally hate social media. So I have not engaged in it at all, except I did a few years ago. Well, yeah, obviously LinkedIn, but <laughs> yeah, the rest of social media. Um, but what's really interesting is that you're talking about 10 or so years of learning to discover, didn't well, that's what it sounded like first time, but Anasuya, was it that long before you started to curb your behavior on Facebook or did you go, oh shit, this has got out of control sooner? Yeah, it is tough. I think uh, that abusive behavior I used to get before more. Now it is little stop. Okay. Because I have, I have encapsulated what you can say like in a different way so that they will not come to me directly and hold me in their way the way before so i have taken every precautions now and i have learned it <laughs> how long did it take you to learn um so what i think it is almost one year one year because i started okay. this business yeah i started my business in 2020 uh not 2019 yeah, yeah you you said you've been on facebook since 2007 yeah, but my I started my business is very late because I when I joined my college oh, from that. Yeah. Right, right, right. So the idea of getting followers and friends and all that sort of stuff, if if a bloke right, let me get this clear then. On a personal page on a social media even though it's despicable and you're not interested there is an argument that some men will be the way they are and one can eat one can i was going to say easily but one can learn to beat these things to the side but what we're talking about here then is what we we're talking about when we we're you and uh gazelle and anasir and i were talking about the fact that from a business perspective you have to be on social media that's mm. where business is done but this catfishing and fraud and sexualization was apparent from the very start of these platforms and it's only as you've moved into business that you've gone this sh this shit keeps happening to me right now let me challenge uh, a question so i'm not going to mention the name of the person because um, they're another top ambassador but there is a person who um is a life coach and i guess the images and the and the movies that she uses are life based um but they're quite intimate personal family pictures you know pictures of of this person um with you know long long hair and all the rest of it and it's not it's not even nearly uh sexual but it is somewhat ambiguous to me at least where do you stand Gregory, seeing as you do a lot of interviews, where do you stand on the acceptable, in quotes, flirtation? Mm. Acceptable? Uh, in business? In a professional setting? Yeah. I just, I mean, I think it's one thing to be, to be friendly and colloquial and funny um, but I just, I don't think things that go towards a flirtatious nature, I don't think they're relevant. I don't think they're useful. I think it, it creates at best ambiguity, as you mentioned, and at worst, it either leads someone down the wrong path to where you th they think you're going, or um, it makes you look in a way that you don't want to be thought of. Like, oh, this person is, you know, easy or they're doing this or they're just looking for a man or they're looking for a woman or whatever, whatever the situation is. And that takes away from 
the business of the profession. So I think when it comes to the things that I've seen that I think are good on LinkedIn, um, there's a guy, Cameron Toth, who is great. And he's got a biz, probably a couple of businesses that he's doing and he has got a show. And on his um, background picture, hmm. um, his LinkedIn, there's, it's, it's really well done too. It's, it's a nice image and it has his family there. And I think it's kind of, it humanizes him. It's like, oh, this is cool, you know? I think that's fine as long as he, and, but he's not posting pictures of his, of his kids uh, doing stuff or his, his wife on a boat or, you know, or any of these types of things. And I see so much of this push in LinkedIn towards a, a Facebook mentality, mm. meaning that I'm seeing more, you know, cat pictures and dog pictures and baby pictures than is really necessary. I mean, we're all human. We all like to smile. We all like to laugh. I get it. But I think people are using this like, ooh, I'm going to get so many more likes out of this cute little kitty picture than if I, you know, put something practical in business that's actually helpful. And that kind of drives me batty, to be honest. That, that is very interesting because the example of your friend, the different in response that he would get in response to what a woman would get with exactly the same photo of a family behind her is is profound indeed uh in the book that i've already quoted but i'll i'll give it again for people watching the authority gap it says in there that basically as a word so i don't know girls you could tell me after this um it says in there that basically until menopause, so when you're out of your productive, reproductive um, abilities, that women are walking a tightrope because if they are pretty, then they're disregarded. It. And if they're slightly assertive, they're called bitchy and bossy and, you know, argumentative and they don't get the options that women otherwise would and it's only when they become invisible sexually at 50 that they then begin to uh, balance up the, the, the power mm. what's your experience Olivia of, of that tightrope if it exists for you for example when I was working for a certain company in the finance world and I was a financial advisor so females are seen to be you know um, you sort of meet with the client face to face so it's more one-on-one -on -one type of consulting so it also happened at a point where this guy also like tried to solicit things like okay after I'll, I'll do this deal with you if you do x y and z for example and meet me in my hotel room later on kind of the thing so even though you're trying you are business-like and you're professional and you know what you're talking about and you've got all the qualifications to prove it they would still take a chance regardless and um mind you this is someone that is actually married married man with kids and things like that so it, it, it was quite horrifying to me at the time you know being young in the industry for example at the time so it was a bit of a shocker at that point 